Whether it's D and D next, eat cheap and vegan, not credible defense, or absolute units. There's a sub or that. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the front podcast, podcast, podcast of the internet. Net, net, net. He's your host, Scott. Have you seen my stapler, Garola? And he's your other host, Willie Purple Monkey Balls Matson. Oh. <laughs> We're a show all about Reddit. Covering all the ups and down votes in approximately 30 minutes. If you like the show, you can find more of us. On our TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. Or still waiting in line to see the queen. <laughs> Well, I don't know about you, Willie, but I've had a really good week, and go fuck yourself. (laughs) Go go to hell. (laughs) Uh, You know, health issues aside, and I know Mm -hmm. you're kind of dealing with that, but the fact that I just got to reminisce a little bit this week about how my wedding's coming together, and that you, as my best man, have been helping me with certain things like going and looking at suits and just talking about little ins and outs, details that my fiance is really happy that we're <laughs> making progress on. So I just want to say thank you here at the I, top of the show. In a week that I didn't think would end, being able to go with you to prep for your big day was probably the highlight Honestly, I, I mean that. And my partner texted me after you left and was like, how, how was that? And I was like, I needed that. I so needed that. <laughs> For the Good. listeners out there, you know that last week I was talking about issues with my cat, Bandit, the show mascot. He was having a problem pooping. So long story short, three vet visits, I gave him Miralax over the counter, a laxative, Scott, <laughs> I gave a tiny cat. A quarter teaspoon of laxative with his food every night. This was prescribed by the vet, right? This isn't something Pete is going to cancel us over. No, no, no. No. Okay. Multiple vets said do this. So I did. (laughs) And I would wake up to this little furball running around the bedroom or the living room, spraying shit everywhere. (laughs) There There was one day. I was trying to decompress this week, and I, I'm like three glasses of wine in, sitting on the couch, and he's running around. And I'm like, man, he's really just getting those zoomies out. We're watching Game of Thrones, trying to get caught up so that we can go and watch the, the new series or the new show. Why? And I was like, wait a minute. What's, what's that on the ground? What is that? It's a little pile of poop. Well, as I tracked it where he ran, I noticed that he also pooped. On our on our blinds, <laughs> like on the side of them. It's been a nightmare. If anybody has gone through uh, issues with pets, poor uh, buddy, I feel your pain. What I will tell you is, he has pooped multiple times in a litter box today, and the stuff you wanted to know. Box. He is doing <laughs> the things I need him to, and my anxiety is just, you know, it's at an eleven and it's on its way down. That's good. We're at a 10.5 now. Poor Bandit, if he could, would have, you know, tried to <laughs> tried to tell you by, of course, you know, like running on his hind legs and his front paws behind him, covering what he could. Saying, like, My poop go. is coming. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But speaking of poop. Oh, no. Today, a little company called Rockstar <laughs> was... <laughs> kind of PO'd at all the crap that they've been going through due to a leak of their next game, which you may have heard of. Small little series. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto 6 was apparently stolen, kidnapped, bamboozled, and here's what they have to say. We recently suffered a network intrusion in which an unauthorized third party illegally accessed and downloaded confidential information from our systems, including early development footage for the next Grand Theft Auto. At this time, we do not anticipate any disruption to our live game services, nor any long-term effect on the development of our ongoing projects. 
We are extremely disappointed to have any details of our next game shared with you all in this way. Our work on the next Grand Theft Auto game will continue as planned, and we remain as committed as ever to delivering an experience to you, our players, that truly exceeds your expectations. We will update everyone again soon, and, of course, will properly introduce you to this next game when it is ready. We want to thank everyone for their ongoing support through this situation. The Rockstar Games team. I think that anybody who puts out a product and puts in years of effort, years, potentially even decades for this game, yeah. deserves to have it shown in the way that they want. And a hacker like this or somebody who would go in and take this information to then release it, you're not doing anybody a favor. Anybody. You're not even doing yourself a favor. There's nothing good that could come out of this because we're already starting to see news this week that people are looking at it saying, oh, well, this is just like Grand Theft Auto 2. They're not even making the game any better. People are putting judgment yeah, on how pre-alpha content. It's it's literally being developed right now in a way where we should never see this. We should never see the behind the scenes. This is like the Wizard of Oz, you know, peeking behind the curtain. Mm -hmm. It's not what we're supposed to see. It's not what we want to see. We're never going to play this. Do you remember, Scott? We got an early pre-alpha build of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember what that experience was like? Every point was broken. It was very apt in its description. <laughs> at, at one point the camera moves to your character and it's just no face and eyeballs yeah. and it's scary <laughs> like medical Everything. imagery they expected us to try and log in and play something it was mm -hmm. it was like the first level where there's a down it was helicopter. a technical build to be to be clear. okay technical okay. build still i don't know what they expected us to do but after playing something like that i i was like you know i i'll just wait i can wait another couple months a year until this is a finished game that I would actually enjoy. If you're somebody who gets invited to play a technical build of something and you put your judgment in a game because of that or believe that you could get to that point, I would highly recommend you steer clear of that experience. I did that. And Breakpoint has almost forever been ruined because of that that moment. It's just like... I. Mm -hmm. I saw behind the curtain, and I didn't necessarily need to see it. I am interested in playing the next Grand Theft Auto whenever it comes out. You know, I'll introduce it to my grandchildren, I believe, when it actually comes out. But I'm also a patient person. I don't need to see the bare bones. I don't need to see mm -hmm. all the meat and gristle. It'd be cool if I could get screenshots every now and then just to say, like, hey, we're still, we're actually doing something. We actually have people hard at work making a living, trying to make the best possible product for you. Here's a little snippet. Here's a clip. Here's a screenshot of a character that we were developing. But I also get that, like, you want to keep it really close to the vest. You don't want anybody else to try and copy your work. So, yes, it might be another five years before this game comes out, but chill. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto V is still doing very well. <laughs> and, and the series itself has been one that I have jumped into in moments Willie, you started the show talking about how you're dealing with all this literal crap spilling out everywhere. Well, you're not the only one, my friend. This week in the subreddit Funny, uh, let's just say that I think this guy has had a worse week. Take a look. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for those of you who... Maybe just you listen to the podcast. It's a podcast after all. You don't have to watch us. The title of this post is Semi Spilled a Load of Dildos and Lube in Oklahoma City. <laughs> and if you couldn't tell from the audio. He's all the way across the lanes there. So they already got the records here, but there is a lot of stuff to clean up. So this per turnpike spur and Mustang on ramp here at I 40 will probably be closed for quite some time. Jim, can you tell what he's carrying there? What's all over the road? All right, that's, that's a, a mess for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the latest. I-40 eastbound. Well, well, 
Looks like some. No, we're zooming in. Uh, not really. Uh... Scott, I've never seen something so hard in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> that on ramp is going to be slick for days. <laughs> I mean, people are going to have to get off for so long while they work on cleaning that up. <laughs> I'm more worried about the people that aren't going to get off. You know, like, this is just an interruption <laughs> in their day, possibly their week. And as always, the heroes are in the comment section. So the pause when she asked him if he knew what was spilled in the road. Oh, he knew. He knew. He knew. <laughs> that driver, he certainly blew his load. <laughs> he paused harder than somebody actively trying to put you in the friend zone <laughs> and the best one found your mom's truck <laughs> oh. <laughs> i love okay, this so i love the brevity of this story hopefully nobody was injured absolutely but this and is i just want to say like if you were expecting an order you're gonna have to wait longer we might have to reship that one. <laughs> there were some <laughs> unexpected delays. I love getting onto Reddit and seeing those stories of people that say, I went to a site to get an adult toy, had it shipped to myself. They said it would be in a discreet package, but then it isn't. It's wrapped to mold exactly what you're... <laughs> <laughs> and here on There's a Sub for That Podcast, we don't want to yuck anybody's yum. If those are the types of things that you want to get, do it. Have fun. Be yeah. an adult. As long as it's safe, consensual, that's what we're here it's, for. It's a toy, right? Kids play with toys. Adults nope. play with toys. Yes. Ooh. Not these toys. Okay. We hope. Uh, <laughs> and we we are we're open minded individuals. If you want to sponsor the show, you can find us at there's at subforthat.com. Uh I'm just gonna go ahead and ask the elephant in the room question. Huge. How many of those were yours? <laughs> <laughs> You know, after the stress that I went through this week, I could probably use one of those. Okay. Wait. <laughs> I know what I'm getting you for our Christmas present this year. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is a personal question. Mm -hmm. Have you ever owned an adult toy? That is a great question. And Scott, uh, this is... Hmm. It's, it's, it's an, like maybe you didn't buy it for yourself, but maybe it was just sure. part of the festivities. The experience. Yeah. 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 I will say, I'll drink to that. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. I haven't really had a need to. It, and it, there's probably some people listening to this show that are like, oh, man, just like yeah. open up a little bit. That didn't mean <laughs> yeah. that I, I just wasn't the owner. <laughs> open up a little bit more, will you? <laughs> just gonna fit it right in it it's one of those things where it's like if you're in a healthy relationship you should mm -hmm. be willing to explore that's that's part of what like you know how so many marriages end in divorce at least 50 percent. well a few are probably ending because they were gonna try to get something <laughs> off that truck this this was the last thing hold, <laughs> this was the glue or lube holding them together uh now scott you as vague as you may want to do it mm -hmm. have you needed to <laughs> well let's let's just say i have not needed any help when it comes to bedroom activities i i mean the thought has crossed my mind because mostly i'm all about equality that base that base <laughs> <laughs> i'll just put a, a little bit of context when you go to a store that you would buy clothes at what is the percentage of women's versus men's clothes mm, 90 percent women's at least 99 sure. percent and if you are to do a safe at home not safe at work search for adult toys do you think the percentage is the same i think it's pretty damn close i think it's probably going to be 90 exactly exactly so for research purposes, I have gone and tried to see kind of like what the depth and breadth of toys for men are. And I can tell you there's not a lot. But, but. Yep, they involve the activities there's toys for to that get too. you there. The, acti oh. <laughs> the activities to get you there. The sites, those types of things, 
are, are heavily way skewed. Yeah. Heavily yeah. skewed. So it's kind of like toys aren't really needed. So we'll just get you to spend money, you know, like on the only schmange. <laughs> We don't even need like those specialty sites. It's just like, oh, hello Sears catalog. That's a throwback. <laughs> let me th- let me just think think about yesterday. Yeah. Speaking of surprises, <laughs> Scott. <laughs> this week in the subreddit, make me smile. Make me smile, Daddy. Okay. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Made me smile. There's a Past post tense. that said. There, there's a post. It says, my mom always wanted to be an astronaut. And oh. one year, my dad surprised us with a trip to Disney World. Except, Scott, once we got there, he drove us to NASA instead. And he surprised my mom with front row seats to a rocket launch. And lunch with a real astronaut. And she bawled from joy. I read this post. And... I'm super jealous of this mom. I'm not going to lie. I've admitted it before on the past several times. Just how much of a space nerd geek mm-hmm. I am. So for her to get this surprise, like I'm I'm just filled with jealous rage right now. <laughs> but how cool is that? I would love to see a, a rocket launch, especially first row, front row. I don't even know what that means. Does that mean you're on the rocket? <laughs> Which yes, we can do soon. Very soon. We'll just have rockets for hire for the right price. But to have lunch with an astronaut, too? Like, I didn't realize that was a thing you could do. If I was an astronaut, I would 100% whore my body out for the extra money. I'm not getting, I'm not getting my ass on Cameo to say, <laughs> hey, hi, my name's Willie. I was an astronaut. Happy birthday, Meredith. No, I want you face-to-face so I can Tell get you money the- real-time. Okay, okay. <laughs> so many thoughts going through my head right now. Uh, number one, you think this is in the contract that they sign when they go up to NASA? Like, ah, we're going to sign you to be an astronaut. Here's, your, here's how much you're going to get paid. Oh, also, at any point in time, we can force you to have lunch with some random stranger. <laughs> it's, and, yeah, it's, it's like an NFL contract. <laughs> exactly, exactly. you got to sign some autographs, take some pictures with the fans. But... What if, let's take that and apply that to any other job. I'm working at McDonald's, and then somebody's just like, oh, hey, uh, Bill is here to have lunch with you today. So go out there and just tell him how burgers are made. Th- those happen, Scott. They're called informational interviews. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just I did saying, plenty like, of them in college. There's, there's cool people like this lady who are super into space. But that mm-hmm. also means that anybody, and we know you're out there, Internet, anybody can just go schedule a lunch with an astronaut and be like, hey, I don't think you're real. I think this is all, all just a getup. The moon landing is fake. The Earth is flat. And you have to sit there <laughs> and take it for this lunch hour. And this space ice cream isn't even ice cream. It's not even cold. Yeah. Yeah, that would be du- that would be really draining on somebody to just sit there and have lunch, <laughs> especially with somebody that you don't know. Just all right. It's not like it's a public Stuart. facing job, you know. You're you're there to explore the cosmos. Work. You're on a scientist, spaceships. exactly. Probably, probably so quiet and methodical and thoughtful. Some of the smartest people in the world, and here you are stuck having lunch let's not take away the fact that this is still an amazing gift. And this husband did such a phenomenal oh, yeah. job. Top notch, 10 out of 10 gift. So the question is to wrap up this story and this week's stories, what is your best gift you've ever received? Um, well, it was, it was a, a little while back. The dream of mine has always been to go and visit this theme park. That I have never mm. been to. It's it's out in Florida. You may have heard of it. It's not. It's a small world after all. Is there? Epcot. It's near the Harry Potter experience, you know. So you get tickets to go, right? Me and my fam. Mm-hmm. Fly out there. Flight was fine. Meal on the plane doesn't exist because it's such a short flight. 
the time of day, you know, doesn't make sense to have it. So sure. Just had some cookies. You know which flight you are. And so we land, get there, stay at the hotel. I'm excited because this is the first time I'm going to be experiencing this theme park that is not a sponsor, so I don't want to say its name. And I'm a little groggy in the morning. We have the continental breakfast and everything. But as we're going there, we take the exit, right, to, to go there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But as, as it turns out, there's another lane off of it. So it's it's kind of like we we're missing the exit and i'm like oh well maybe there's a shorter way how how old are I'm you not pay- i'm not driving uh it's a couple years back okay and sure. lo and behold we arrive at a completely different area and this area just happens to be a place where they send people into space and lo and behold my husband actually took me to nasa to have lunch with an astronaut and have front row seats to a rocket. Get the hell out of here. I hate you so much. (laughs) (laughs) It's sometimes good. It's sometimes not. It's time for ups and down votes with Willie and Scott. Call it Scott. I'm going to call something we've talked about this whole week. Something we've talked about today on the show, and it's going to be heads. The whole time you were saying that, I'm just staring. I am staring at the head of this coin, this stupid bitch on this screen. It's fine. It's fine. You know what? I had a good run. I had two in a row. That's a good streak. You can't you can't start a streak without one, and you got to two. Now, granted, I'm still at seven, so you're not quite there, but... <laughs> Way to rub it in. <laughs> Way to rub it in. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I think I'm, I'm going to go positive this week. Yum. My upvote of the week is from entertainment. There's this weird website that I've never heard of called Indie100.com, but the post is Australians want the crocodile hunter Steve Irwin on their money and not King Charles. <laughs> So you have to go a little bit deeper on this. For those of you who heard that sentence and said, that's brand new, there's a subreddit (laughs) for that. And whenever the ruling person, king or queen of England, dies, they have to update all the currency of all of the nations that Mm -hmm. are, what would it be? Commonwealths. Commonwealth. Thank you. Under the rule, technically, based on some paperwork... Sure. So talk about an in, an incredible waste. They now have to go through and redo the currency for all of these countries and especially the UK. Get rid of all of the current pound that has the queen's face on it and put the new king's face on it. Does yeah. it seem like a waste? Like what if every four or eight years we updated our currency i guess it's been longer but still we updated ours with the current president well that would be extreme i say god Um, some people would love that there there's an audience you know who you are there's a sub for that you likely don't (laughs) listen to us i don't know i think the uk going to pound town is is a historic thing that not in Oklahoma. Not off that <laughs> that freeway entrance. <laughs> it just comes with the title, you know. It's cool that the monarch was alive that long, but mm-hmm. now there's a new monarch. And why wouldn't you want your face on everything and your logo on everything? I mean, that's just something that comes with being a king. Is it a waste of money? Sure. But I think a monarchy is a waste of money. So what do I know? It's like the epitome of the best sports team merchandise you can find it is like peak moment right you you literally have your version of currency that you need to change the face like vikings bucks or (laughs) packers coins you just come get this little cheesy dollop of of a five cent piece that has aaron Rodgers' face on it right is that I, do I mean, he's right. a person. He's a player. Yeah. But I think what we're missing here is Australians want this iconic celebrity who I would say has done more for the world than the current king. Agreed. And I'm kind of here for it. I would love to collect 
Australian banknotes with Steve Irwin's face on them. Have you seen the videos of Steve Irwin's son? Mm-hmm. The, uh, He's doing all image. the same stuff. Just yeah. incredible. Their their entire family, you guys are such a blessing for this world. Continue to do what you do. But Scott, I got to talk about some, some shitty news. You already did. It just fits in with the theme. I know. I'm keeping it on brand this <laughs> week. From the subreddit, funny, there's a post that says our campsite had this posted in all of the bathroom stalls. My downvote of the week is, dear person who can't seem to stop pooping all over the walls and floor. We have finally figured out who you are for several weeks now. <laughs> we have been cleaning up the daily poop again. you leave us to deal with. Oh. We have cleaned your poop off the walls, outside of the toilet, and all over the floor. Not only do we not enjoy this chore, but it's an enormous drain on our resources. I have left you a bucket with gloves, disinfectant, and everything else you need to leave no trace. This will be your last day at Camper's Village if you fail to clean up your own poop. Sincerely, not joking, I know who you are. This was at a camp? I guess. Have you have you ever went to the bathroom at a public place? A restaurant, a mall, whatever. And you're like, oh man, I just can't do this. I'm not going to make it. It's a disaster. It's happening. It's happening right now. And you shit in the middle of a street while wearing a wedding dress. Has that ever happened to you? <laughs> Just one time I had way, way too much uh, bad Spanish food. I don't know. Yep. <laughs> I feel for this person who's having to write this because I know that there's a lot of love in this. Mm -hmm. They've been with this person for X amount of Weeks. time. Yeah. My guess is because they haven't done this in a public way to shame them other than this post on the internet that they think there's something that can be fixed but maybe they're not the person to do it and so they didn't want to just pull a jurassic park where all the walls fall down and the person standing there trow dropped <laughs> spraying <laughs> off like a, a sprinkler on a hot summer day <laughs> they don't want to do that to this person they just want to say, like, hey, I know who you are. If if you can fix it, cool. I'm definitely going to be talking to mom and dad about it. I think my favorite version of a story like this, an old coworker of mine told this story. He went into a stall at a, a retail job that he had. Mm -hmm. And it was one of those, like, men's bathrooms where there's a urinal and a stall. Yep. He walks into the stall. He goes about his business. Uh -huh. Somebody opens the door silence there's not pee sound there's not water going just silence and then like a minute later he hears are you gonna be there for a while he goes yep uh, yep <laughs> a little bit more silence and then you hear it you hear the belt the zip and Undoing. then you hear you hear just one loud explosion just one pa <laughs> and the sound of plastic rustle mm -hmm. and he's sitting in there going oh my god oh my god what just happened? What did this man just do? What am I walking out to? He gets up. He walks out of the stall a few minutes later. Nothing. It's clean. <laughs> nope. Calm. Clean as a whistle. So then he starts looking around. Where did and it this, go? <laughs> this man launched a rocket right, in, <laughs> right into the garbage can. <laughs> you know this person, Scott. You know this story. I do. I do know this person. Well, of course I know him. He's me. Was this you? I told you that story. That's There's no me. way. That is 100%. That's your story? That is my story. I think I've told it on this podcast, you know, 100 episodes ago or whatever we're at right now. But yeah, that's the legend of this story that has traveled around. Oh my God, Scott. <laughs> I was told this story by somebody else. There's no way. There's no I way. I am the one that is traumatized by this. <laughs> it is something that is told to new hires this to this day. Oh, man. 
What an opener. <laughs> I, I, nobody could have predicted that. We want to try something new before we end this show. But wait, there's more. All of you can get involved. All of you can have a fun time doing this. But we want to predict the post. The post of the week. So every single week, Willie and I go through and we look for stories. But there's always one when we start looking. There's always one that's at the top that's got the most views, upvotes, etc., comments. And we're going to try and pick what subreddit is topping the tater when we go to record. If one of us can pick the actual top post of the week, then the other person has to do something that will be slightly unpleasant, and we will definitely record it and put it on the internet. So if we were to make a prediction that made me smile is going to be the top post, then is that you what might you're going to Yes, and the person that gets to pick first will just be the person who did not win the coin flip. So, Willie, you're on the clock. I'm going to go with next fucking level. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Ah, if we're just going off of this week, there's a lot of... Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to kind of match you just to see if I can stay in the same realm. I'm going to go with, damn, that's interesting. We'll see what can be the top. If you want to say in what we do to one another, head on over to our Instagram, link in the notes, and we'll have a poll there for some of the things that you could do to us. Oh, we will? Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> yep. Yes, you will. Also, we're going to get you involved, too. You can play along because we're going to track points. We're going to see who's smarter, us or you. So... Also, put your predictions for what you think the top subreddit is going to be. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Find more of us on our socials, and we'll see you next week. Mm-hmm.